Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we're going to be going over the digital oscillator. This is modeled after the JP8000 series of synths, the 8000 and the 8080. And what makes it famous is indeed the Super Saw. Um, so basically, uh, there's, this is a two oscillator synth. Um, top to bottom, Super Saw, uh, triangle warp noise feedback, pulse saw and triangle so we're going to start out with i would suppose the layout down here so we have our our envelope mode for the pitch we can map that to you know envelope two if we want to well it already is but we can adjust it uh, we have our cross uh, modulation our ring modulation and our mix so that all the way to the right is oscillator two all the way to the left is oscillator one right the original jp did not have two super saws but you could split it up in parts so we'll have our super saw here um all uh of the oscillators have the octave and uh or and or tune at the top uh so what we'll do so quiet so what we'll do is we'll uh we'll adjust this guy so there's two parts to the super saw which we have selected up here there is the detune amount and the multi amount. So as you increase the multi amount, you get more saws. Right, right now they're all stacked up on top of each other. But if we detune the pitch of all the saws, which are seven, you get a very large sound. So, oops. So that's uh, the super saw, and you can get some cool sounds. That is very 80s like uh, we have our triangle warp which is basically a very interesting FME triangle sound with our warp and our bend what is kind of underrated for the JP is the feedback type of synthesis which is pretty cool um, we have noise now noise works it's all key tracked uh, we and we have our tune here, so the the noise is always key tracked. So with our tune and tune is basically a filter, and the Q is a resonance. We can get some kind of weird siny sounds out of that. It's pretty cool. Uh, our feedback oscillator it feed it feeds back the output back into the input and does some pretty cool stuff. So tune is does nothing until you feed it back. That's a pretty interesting effect that you can blow your drums if you're not careful. That's a uh, very kind of spongle like but you know, teach his own. We have our pulse, so you have pulse width. Minus and positive to the point where it, it disappears. Spike up kind of does some freaky deaky modulation. Which is terrifying. Uh, we have our saw here more signy than you know we're used to but you know we can bend it to achieve a different timbre of the saw and we can add harmonics to make it more appropriate to an actual saw so basically we're mixing in a sine wave which is neat and uh, our triangle sine wave to it and then bend it to our will so very trancy so how this works is basically anything can be modulated by these three things uh, so say if you wanted the octave to be modulated by LFO2 you'd, you'd turn it on here right? and it all goes down the middle so the harmonics of LFO2 let's see We can modulate the, the detune. We can get more 
evolving. We'll have it completely off, and we can uh, select anything we want here to modulate uh, the multi or whatever. And it's all all these knobs, the bottom two are sensitive to what we're doing here, and we can also sync it like any other. So that's all well and good. And there's also high quality and then alias mode. So the original JP series of synths had a lot of aliasing, and that would that added to its sound. Um, so you'd hear like weird, it, it, it would sound very brittle and uh, you can you can have that still but if you select high quality you don't get that. You know it, take, it eliminates the aliasing so it's uh, you know a bit more flexibility you know always always going for quality and uh, that excitingly concludes our oscillator section switching of doom. All right. We'll be back with some more stuff. <laughs>